Hi everyone, Linda here. I'm an independent Sensi consultant. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm on here today because I had a parcel delivered this morning. It contained my party closeout haul. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, you can open a party. I always open a party and order my own products through the party. Uh, my girl gang order when they order can order through the party and as a result of ordering we collect um, Reward a reward in credit or half price items uh, Typically, I leave it open long enough that I gather three uh, Or four half price items uh, one I did get four this time one of them is the hostess credit then I did get uh, a bunch of credit dollars to spend and so this is what I hauled and um, typically I usually uh, offer a half price item to some of my girl gang and I had one person take me up on it this time and so and the rest is for me <laughs> I did uh, buy some half price items and then with my credit dollars I was able to purchase two warmers anyway um, I'm going to share that with you. Uh, I'm able to film today. My granddaughters are still here. Uh, right now, they've gone out with my son and daughter-in-law. My daughter-in-law's sister and her husband own a farm and outside the city. And so they've driven out there to visit, see the farm, have dinner with, with the family and the children. And so it's going to be a fun outing for them. So, But it's given me an opportunity to do a quick video. And... Um, when I was doing some screen, some pictures for the thumb, thumbnail on this uh, video, my granddaughter wanted so badly to be in the picture and I didn't want her face shown because I know her dad would, would not appreciate that. So you may see uh, a thumbnail for this video with two little arms around my neck. And if I, I haven't decided which one I'm gonna use, but if I use that one, that's, those are, that's as much of her that got in the picture as was allowed. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll get to the, the haul. Um, yeah, I got some, I didn't get any wax. I'm kind of surprised, but I'm putting an order in for wax, uh, quite a bit of wax, because I'm going to do a transition transition video and I want to get some of the fall winter bars. So I'll be on to that next. But in this haul, no wax, just products and warmers. So let's get started. Um, I did get the cleaning bundle. As everybody knows, I, I do like to get the cleaning bundle. Um, it's growing on me, especially the bathroom cleaner, but I do like to get it at half price. So this is one of my half price items. And it comes with a bathroom cleaner, a counter clean, and a dish soap. And the bathroom cleaner I picked up this time is Make a Splash. This was a summer bar. I like the scent quite a bit. I haven't used it in this, but it's now available in the fall winter catalog as well. And um, make a splash is like melon, green apple, um, turquoise waters. You know, it's got a, and a little bit of an aquatic -y water scent. Anyway, it's a lovely summer scent and it would be a great bathroom cleaner. And as I mentioned, this, you know, bathroom cleaner for me can be a little pricey for bathroom cleaner and I go through it quite quickly, but I, when I can get it for half price, I don't mind. So that's my bathroom cleaner. And then I always get the dish soap and the counter clean and matching scents. And I got it in vanilla mint. And oh, look at the packaging. It's so cute. It's very Scandi looking. I love that. That's my vibe. That's such a vibe for me. Anyway, I love the dish soap. I've mentioned this many times before. Um, if I'm going to wash dishes, I want to enjoy the scent and make it, it feels like a treat a little bit. So for me, it's worth the splurge. Half price is not bad. So, and I, it takes me a long time to go through a bottle, uh, you know, because I only will hand wash a few things. I use it to wipe down stuff. Most everything else goes into my dishwasher. So, but I really enjoy that. So I'm, I'm right now using up Cloudberry Dreams. Eh, it wasn't super keen on that one but I'm using it up and I will dive into the vanilla mint and the counter clean I love the counter clean uh, all of my girl gang are fans now and you know it's not I don't use it on my counter I have quartz counters I don't necessarily use it on those but I use it for everything else um, for in my sink or 
if I have tough stains on my stove top, my ceramic stove top, or stains, even laundry stains. I, you know, my my uh, granddaughter's doing chocolate drips on their shirt or something. I I have a bottle of it of counter clean down by my laundry. Um, fingerprints on doors. It works. It's great. Like pet stains. Like my daughter has a a puppy and she likes to use it on you know accidents etc so anyway highly recommend this is vanilla mint and it's um evergreen or wintergreen citrus and vanilla i think i've smelt the wax the wax is no longer available unfortunately so that was one of my half price items my second half price items i always get a laundry bundle the laundry bundle comes with the laundry liquid the washer whips big tub and two packs of dryer discs and the dryer discs have two um, they have two scentsy bar shaped uh, plastic item they smell like this fragrance and you throw them in your dryer they don't do anything except scent but it's kind of fun and I think they help toss things around because they're you can hear them clinking in the dryer when it dry anyway I got this all in fluffy fleece which was a brick at Christmas last year and it was so popular it's now made it into the fall winter catalog as a scent as a bar and it's also available in the laundry now I wasn't a huge fan of it in uh, wax form it was very strong powdery um, smelt more laundry to my nose not so much a uh, scent i use it in my laundry in fact i have it going right now uh, in my laundry room uh, the wax but i thought it would be nice in the laundry product and i wanted to try it and someone i saw on youtube mentioned it's quite strong so i'm giving it a shot my typical go-to is jammy time i do have a set of jammy time as well but i just wanted to see what this one did anyway uh Fluffy Felice is black currant, cozy musk, heliotrope, and heliotrope is a flower. I know, it's uh, it's in a lot of perfume, and uh, one of the things I've read on a perfume site is that heliotrope is that sort of powdery, sweet, fluffy scent in a perfume. So I'm sure that's what makes this smell powdery as well. Anyway, uh, I'll let you know how it how it goes. I'll be breaking into this probably next just to get a, give it a try. Then my third half price item was Scent Soft, also in Fluffy Fleece. Uh, this is just a fabric softener. It does not come as part of the bundle. It's separate because not everybody uses fabric softener. I do use it on my bedding. That's mostly where I use the scented extras. I love the laundry liquid for stains and I will be using that for my all of my laundry. But for all of the, the extras like the whiffs and the everything I, I use on my bedding and towels. So anyway, scent soft. I really like that as well. And my fourth half price item was, uh, my sister took me up on that and she got a warmer. So I'll show you that in a second. I just wanted to, I have a couple other little, what you do when you spend your credit, you spend your credit and then you end up with a little sum of money at the end. And so you're sort of shopping for something just to use up that little bit of credit and maybe go a couple dollars over uh, out of pocket. So I did get uh, a bar of Glacier Ice. Oh, pardon me, water, Glacier Water. This is the scent of the month uh, for August. And um, when I opened my parcel today, my sister and my mom were here and they smelled it. And they weren't keen. They thought it smelled like Axe, that men's Axe body wash. My granddaughters liked it. It's um, um, bergamot, aquatic, lavender, and driftwood. It does smell like uh, lavender, herbal lavender, and it does have a bit of an aquatic edge. And you definitely can smell the bergamot, but, um, and driftwood. Not so much, maybe a tiny bit of woodiness. But anyway, I'll warm it and review it. I want, I always try the scent of the months just so that I have an opinion. And if I like it, I'll pick up more. I'll let you know how it does. And then just to use up every inch of that credit, I did get a 20 watt bulb in, in orange. I have 25 watt orange bulbs. I didn't have a 20 watt and 
uh, in the fall, I use the same warmers, some of the warmers, but I like to add an orange bulb. It does kind of give it a more fall flavor, so to speak. Uh, like I have that um, iridescent, the iridescent pearl, the scent of the month or the warmer of the month from a couple of months back. It's pink. I've tried it with the orange bulb uh, and it looks cool. It looks more fall. So uh, like that's the sort of thing I mean. You can take a regular warmer and like, you know, change the flavor a bit with a colored bulb. So I plan on using orange for some of my bulbs. And I'll be doing a warmer tour. Uh, I'm going to switch everything out um, pretty quick and put some new transition warmers uh, in place before October, something to transition me through till October comes and I get really heavy duty into autumn, but I'll be doing a little bit of a warmer tour for that. Anyway, let me get going here. Now the warmers. So my, as I mentioned, my sister wanted a, a warmer and with her half price item. And so she chose, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. Azia, Aziza, A-Z-I-Z-A, -Z -Z Azia. Aziza, <laughs> I, I actually should watch somebody's video and see what they, how they pronounce it. Anyway, it's the gray. They say it has 5,000 pinhole in the design. Wait till you see it, it's so cute. I might have to copy her and get it too. Anyway, here it is. It's a 25 watt ceramic warmer. Looks like this, has a little metal handle. The dish is frosted and it says four cubes on it and uh, it's quite dainty actually. A lot, maybe a little smaller than I imagined but very pretty. Uh, when we took it out of the box my sister said um, oh it's a darker gray then she thought it looked a little more uh, like a lighter gray in the pictures but anyway she loves it. She loves it and she agreed to let me keep it. <laughs> Uh, until I filmed this video, so I, that's why I still have it. And she gave her permission to let me take it out of the box and show you. Anyway, here it is, and I'm going to light it up. And this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can get it to be steady, steady, steady. Oh, dear. Oh, well, look at the... You can tell it's throwing on me. Let me give it a ch chance to snap in place. There you go. There you go. Anyway, so, so lovely. And as you can see on my face, it casts a really cool um, light against the background and all on the table when it's lit. Anyway, so, so, so pretty. 25 watt ceramic, so it'll probably perform really well. Um, very nice. Anyway, that's her her haul for half price. Great deal. Then there were two warmers I had my eye on. Um, the first one actually has been in a catalog quite a while and I didn't really pay any attention to it. Not sure why, just didn't, you know. Um, and then I had a vision. I was trying, I did get the um, the pumpkin warmer in the hurricane glass uh, that was in the clearance in the summer, spring and summer. And um, I'm gonna put that in my living room and I wanted something to coordinate with that. And I have some great winter warmers, but I didn't want, I didn't want to have that, those out with my sort of fall warmer, my pumpkin warmer. So I was looking for something and then this came to me and it is the Stargaze warmer and I wanted this one there was another one that's quite a bit like it I can't remember what it's called and it's a bit narrower but I wanted this shape and I'll tell you why you'll see in a minute it looks like this when it's not lit which sort of surprised me a bit it's just like that hurricane glass uh, silver has a little flex in the top so it, it I thought this looks like that pumpkin warmer, only it's just a, a globe. And I thought 
I would put that in the living room along with the warmer, pumpkin warmer, but this would also be nice as a transition until I get my pumpkin warmer out. So, and this is what it looks like lit up. Let's see, I'm not sure how it'll translate. Let me see if I hold it up. They say every one of them is different. Let me see where the notch is. So here's the front of mine. This is the front and it's so nice. Like mine has a little bit of, I don't know if you can tell, a slight little bit of a sort of a pinky, almost maybe yellow on the bottom and then that burst of light. Anyway, I'm gonna put that, you'll see it in my tour. I just thought it was so pretty and that it would look great for the fall. It has a frosted glass dish as well. And it is a 20 watt. And um, they say no, no one warmer is the same, that the pattern and the colors vary. Some people have more blues and greens and teals. And this is perfect for me because it's sort of a neutral color. Anyway, that's my, but I also like the look of it just plain. Anyway, had to get that. Quite thrilled. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to go through my warmer closet. I have quite a few uh, used, hauled, thrifted warmers. I'm going to uh, re-gift those. My mom wants a couple and I need to make some room for these new warmers that I store. Anyway, my last warmer, half price warmer, or free, rather, these were free. Well, free, credit, I bought them with the credit. <laughs> I've had my eye on for a long time, dancing petals. And uh, this is the color that I didn't imagine having in my white kitchen, white and wood kitchen, but um, I for fall, I thought it would be great. And I'm going to take the uh, iridescent Pearl, I, I think that's what it's called. Anyway, sorry if I'm wrong about that. And I'm gonna put it in my kitchen. It has that pink hue. I'm gonna put an orange bulb in it and have it in one corner and I'm gonna put this one in the other. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna get the front. This is my front here. It's so pretty and this these colors, these teal and blues are um, colors that I have in my cabinets and my accessories. The red and orange I thought looked quite uh, autumn-y. And I thought, just to, usually I have white warmers or, you know, I'm very neutral, but I thought this would be a nice splash of autumn for my kitchen. So here's the warmer lit. And let's go a little bit closer. There you go. These are the colors. I think it's so pretty. And it kind of reminds me of autumn leaves, you know? It's so vibrant. It's, it's really hard to describe and translate in, um, on video, but I love it. Anyway, this is going to be my fall kitchen warmer and um, I'm gonna enjoy it. It's so pretty. Anyway, that is my Party Pose haul, three warmers, uh, some cleaning products, a bar of the scent of the month, and a bulb. Anyway, it doesn't take much to spend all your, all your money, your credit. Anyway, I'm thrilled. Uh, those are perfect for me. Um, I'm slightly tempted to get the Aziza warmer, I think is how I would pronounce it. Uh, copy my sister on that, that's so pretty. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I might hold out though. I'm thinking that at, in the, at Christmas for the winter, I may be able to snag another warmer. In the meantime, this will do me. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning into this. I am ordering, I have an order placed. I have um, some orders from my Sip and Sniff and I've ordered a, a bunch of bundles of the fall and winter bars that I think would be good transition. I've mentioned this before, I'm gonna do a video on transitioning, like how to take August, the end of August, blend it into September, because for most of us, the weather is still quite warm, probably well into September. I, I'm planning on camping in the first week of September, 
So, um, and it's very hot here and it's gonna be in the 30s till the end of the month. And uh, so it's quite warm. So anyway, I think we need uh, some suggestions uh, for what to warm to sort of transition into that fall winter uh, vibe. And so I'm gonna do a video. So I've got bars coming for that and I'll share all of that with you when it arrives and then I'll do the video. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, I just wanna to say to my Sensi YouTube friends, <laughs> Um, I'm going to catch up on all your videos. I've tried to watch a few here and there, but it's very, it's a very busy little household right now. So um, I haven't been able to watch and comment as much as I like to. So I will be catching up. And um, but I really appreciate you all tuning in and watching me. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd be very grateful if you would. Um, this is my sort of fun hobby. Um, it's not a race for me to, you know, but it's still fun to have people watch you and appreciate you. And uh, leave comments. Please leave comments. I love hearing comments, and I've gotten so many great ideas from people. Like, what, what kind of warmers are you thinking of hauling from the new catalog? And what, how do you transition warmers from spring, uh, summer to fall? Like, do you have warmers that you use just for fall? Do you switch things out? Do you, you know, are you slow, steady with the same warmers? You know, what's your, what's, how do you handle that? And uh, you know, are there warmers in the catalog that you just, you know, got your eye on? That'd be fun to hear too. So anyway, share your thoughts and I appreciate your support and I hope you have a great, great week. Thanks so much and talk to you later. Bye.